Welcome to Statics. I'm Dr. Stewart. Today we're going to do some examples for frames and machines. The example we're going to do is example 613 from Hibbler's Statics book. In frames and machine problems, we're typically asked to draw free body diagrams for members. And that's what we're asked in this problem, to draw free body diagrams for each member or part of the machine, as well as a free body diagram for the whole machine. Let's go and examine the machine that we're given in this problem. This machine consists of several parts. There is a short link, AB. There is a lever arm, EBD, this lever arm here. There is a, I guess you can call it a, a uh, crushing uh, coin, D. And then there is a soda can, C. So this device here is a soda can crusher, right? So we're going to need to break this up into free body diagrams for each of these members. So let's get started. Let's start with a free body diagram for the main element in the structure. This is member EBD. Member EBD has an external loading uh, for force F. We'll assume that is a known. And it is connected at two locations. It's connected at point B to the short link and it's connected with a pin connection at D to the um, can crusher. So let's go ahead and replace the short link connection with the correct uh, reaction, which would be a force along the line of action of that short link, FAB. And let's replace the pin connection to the can crusher as, as forces DX and dy, right? Let's also then go and analyze the point D, that connection pin between uh, member EBD and the can crusher. And in that point, we're gonna do the same thing we did in our last example. Any forces that are transmitted between free body diagrams or need to be equal and opposite. So DX is to the left in the old diagram and the new one is to the right, equal and opposite. DY is up in the first diagram, it's down in the pin connection. And then to counteract them, we end up with some normal force that's gonna be in the can crusher, as well as some pressure, P, which is a force that's gonna be transmitted into the can, right? All right. So now let's go on to analyzing uh, the other member in our, in our structure, which is the short link AB. Now the short link AB, if we remember our rules, we can identify as a two force member. And that means that the forces that are transmitted through it have a line of action that goes along the member's direction, and that the forces at each side are equal and opposite to maintain equilibrium. So that's just telling us that, yes, we have a short link. All right. So we've dissected our machine into each of the members that's in the structure. Now let's do part B, which is creating a free body diagram for the whole machine. Now, if we crafted our individual free body diagrams correctly, we should be able to snap these diagrams together to literally glue them together like Legos and arrive at the same diagram as our whole frame, where the internal forces FAB and DX, DY, that they cancel out because they are transmitted internal to the machine. So let's go ahead and check and see if that is true. We create a free body diagram for the whole machine. 
which is what we are used to doing, where the components are all connected and still together. And we see that we have our external force, F. We have the can-crushing force, P. We have a normal force. And then we have that force that's transmitted in the short link. Right? And so it looks, it would appear, that the free body diagrams that we individually crafted do combine into this full free body diagram. Why is it important for us to make sure that those individual free body diagrams can interconnect? Well, from those diagrams, we can create equations of equilibrium. And if those equations of equilibrium have the same reference frame, meaning that their sense of orientation between members is proper, then we can use all those equations to solve for our unknowns, and we can deal with really complicated problems. All right? That's this example for frames and machines. Look for me in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. There's going to be more examples. And hit the bell. Set it to all so you can get immediately notified when there's more videos.